Hello viewers, my name is Carlo Mercy and today we'll be discussing on parenting styles and its effect on the behavioral patterns on children. Co-hosting the show with me today is Dr. Zekpayo and together we'll be divulging the different parenting styles and how it influences our children positively and negatively. So um, before we go in details into what parenting is and all the different styles we have on parenting, I for one know that this is Nigeria. In this part of the world we have different kinds of parents you know parents that can reset our entire mood without actually giving you a body contact yes. they could reset our entire mood with an eye signal they could reset our entire mood with just a look on their face so do you have some personal experiences you could share with the viewers as to what your childhood looked like okay um growing up i had i would say i had very wonderful and of course memorable memorable experience with my parents um my Mom was a disciplinarian and my dad was easygoing. Okay. At some point I thought they were wicked. I tagged them as wicked I had a wicked too. parents. But growing up I understand that whatever they did to me has molded me into who I am today. I'm better because of everything they've said, everything they've done to me and Okay, my childhood was was more like adulthood i can't really say i had a childhood because my parents were strict disciplinarians like you don't you don't talk you don't move like they had they had certain expectations on me you know i had to be that perfect girl i had to be prim i had to be proper i had to be pretty i had to be smart i had to be intelligent i had to and i remember at the time when i was four or so my dad during our morning devotions every morning we could he would just bring out a very mighty dictionary, like mighty dictionary, and then when he's supposed to be telling us this is what you're supposed to do for the day, this is what you're supposed yeah. to be doing, I'll just be hearing words as quintessential, parsimonious, and I'm asking my dad, Hello, I'm a child, how am I supposed to understand this? But I know that that was his own model of raising me, and I'm sure that all these experiences has modeled me into who I am now. I am the sum up of all my experiences exactly. so can you um tell us really what you feel or what you think parenting is and uh, okay. if we have good parenting and bad parenting i think parenting is the process of modeling a child physically emotionally socially from infancy to adulthood and i'll say yeah there is there are negative and positive influence parenting has on childhood and adulthood Okay, I think I would agree with you because I know that parenting doesn't just have to do with the biological relationship you have yeah. with your children. It goes way beyond that. It goes into your your supporting your child from infancy to adulthood. You know, being together with him or her or training them emotionally, physically, teaching them independence, yeah. teaching them financial stability, teaching them emotional respect. I think this is what I could call parenting. So, um, you know, statistics have shown us that we have different styles of parenting, but there are four um, styles that stand out. Amongst them, we have authoritarian, we have the permissive, we have the authoritative, and we also have the uninvolved. So could you please throw some light on these styles of parenting? Okay, um, I'll first start with the uninvolved. I think the uninvolved parents, they are the career, most of them are the career related parents. They don't care about what their children do. They don't want to know how their, their children well being. And most of them, they have the habit of always bringing housemates to take care of their children. This has affected the psychological aspect of the kids. Okay, for the authority, Okay, okay. Uh, hold on, I'd like to cut you in there. So you're saying the parents that are uninvolved or those that, that carry out the parenting style of yeah. being uninvolved are those that mostly have nannies, domestic staff, yeah. they are career conscious. That is, they don't have time to get involved in their in their kids' life. Yeah. So to me, I could say that is a no-no. It's a really no-no. You shouldn't, <laughs> like, that is a bad parenting style. Yeah. I, I, I really think that these children that that their parents are not involved in their life it's in, it affects them like when you go around you see lots of other children their parents are showing them love giving them quality yeah. time and all of that it's much more than buying me gifts because yeah. i wouldn't i wouldn't want you okay fine i think i would want your gifts and still want your attention yeah, yeah. so can you go go on ahead with that okay we have your third parents they are the ones that disciplinarian just as you said your dad how he is i 
I should say, permit me to say that okay. he falls under the authority authoritarian. I agree with you. Man. My father is a very disciplined man. <laughs> I will use the word authoritarian. Okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, and the third aspect is the permissive parents. The permissive, they allow their kids to do whatever they ask from their parents. They permit their kids to behave anyhow. Um, I would say that this is actually not too good. Though it's, to, to some extent, it's not too good because these kids, they tend to grow up being more like pampered, the, being the sports children exactly. and the permissive parents are the ones that overindulge their children hello mommy i want to go to paris for lunch okay your passport is there why don't we hop exactly. into the plane and go to paris hello mommy i think i have i have um a club party or whatsoever yeah i think also that most of this thing doesn't just they don't just indulge their children in bad habits not letting them do some necessary yeah. things they should do at home i want to i want to read my books but there are some dirty dishes in the sink what do you do you read your book that is actually overindulgence because yeah. you have to do the dishes and as well read your books i think you do you agree on that on the permissive style yes yeah, some extent but it still has a side effect and i think the side effect it's more it's more dangerous than the positive aspects so okay one of the ways such could be corrected is that you should praise your child's good behavior and encourage them in everything they do if they fail encourage them you don't have to call them names you should also praise their good behavior okay call don't call them names yeah um praise their good behavior i would also say you should reward your children i know that I love praises. I have. I love people singing my praises. Come on, if I did something right, I would want you to tell me that this is something right that I did. So I'm sure that most children actually do enjoy that. So if the child did well in taking her time, tidying up the house, don't just come and see that one spot that is a speck of dust. Yeah. Actually, praise that child equally. Well, and I think you should also use words on them. That's positive words on them. You should tell them I love you. You should tell them if you do this for this person, you should also do this for the other person. Notwithstanding the age difference or status. You know, it's very difficult for a parent to not like a good child. We all like something good. So if I have two children, say I have two children and mm -hmm. maybe child A is disturbing me and child b is bringing back the awards and bringing back the prizes so how do you want me or how do you want that parent that is watching us right now to handle this love you should also love yeah love keep loving keep loving keep loving i think love overseas or love conquers all love conquers all yes i was about saying that even the bible says love never stops loving yeah so when you keep showing love love comes back to you in return you know um when the bible says um what you sow you shall reap it doesn't just um deal with our finances or deals with crop i feel if you sow love you reap love if you sow hatred you will reap hatred if you sow jealousy amongst your children or as a mother you keep telling your child or your children how their father is not meeting up to standards how their father is not doing well or as a father you keep telling your children how their mother is a prostitute or mm. this or that you you get to rip that spark press down shaking together will be giving <laughs> back onto you so yeah. um being an amazing time on yeah. set today and it was beautiful talking on parenting styles and the effects on the behavioral patterns on children so one last word before we wrap up the show Okay, I would say train up your child in the way he should go and he will never depart from it. Explicit. That is just one word you should go home with. I would say get off your smartphone and spend time. Not just time, but quality time. Spend with quality children. time with your children. It's been wonderful having everybody here today. Yeah. So before we go, I want to say a very big thank you to uh, my manager, Rockland House TV. Thank you very much. Thank you to the editor, the producers and we wait we anticipate to see you again same time same day have a beautiful day bye thank you